It's film and review. It's film and review. It's film and review. It's film and review. Hello, and welcome to film. film. Hello, and welcome. Interview. Hello, and welcome to Film and Review. I'm Samina. And I'm Charles Giblet. Today we'll be reviewing the recently released Australian film by director J.D. Moses, A Chink in the Love Triangle. This is an indie melodrama that deals with the issues such as seduction, lust and adultery. The film begins with the handsome male lead Lawrence reading a bedtime story to his son. For Sir Matilda does know best. But no one knows where the sun will set. But where will the sun set? I'll tell you another time. Good night, little Jimmy. But all is not well between his wife and Lawrence. Why didn't you iron my man cardigan? Because <sighs> I was busy. Oh, what? Probably watching the Food Network. What's that supposed to mean? What I'm saying is that after little Jimmy, you stacked on a few. Don't bring little Jimmy into this. Okay, fine. He's gorgeous. You're fat and disgusting. Get out! Well, what? You'll sit on me? <coughs> oh, please, Matt. Very original. Fatty. <coughs> Unsatisfied with his marriage, he becomes infatuated with their Chinese house cleaner, Chi Chi. In the actual film, that sequence lasts for up to a whopping 10 minutes. As a symbol of his ever-growing passion, Lawrence gives Chi Chi a gift. Towards the end of the second act, we see Chi Chi growing uncomfortable with the adulterous relationship. Risk of ruining the ending. Chi-Chi, wait! Just, just feel my heart. No, we don't love you. You made a mistake. Please, please. If you mess with the bull, get the horns. Tell little Jimmy the sun sets in the west. So there you have it, a chink in the love triangle. 
a title that is as relevant to the blunders of contemporary relationships as it is racially inappropriate. I give it five stars. I found the film bland and a little pretentious. I give it four and a half stars. This has been Film in Review. Good night. It's Film in Review. It's Film in Review. It's Film in Review. It's Film in Review.